Hey you guys, we're gonna get ready together and do makeup I actually wear. I've been doing this series on TikTok and I've been really liking it because there's so many looks that I apply for camera that I don't actually wear. So let's do it, makeup I actually wear and follow along if you like. This makeup is relatively easy, um, light on the shadows because truthfully, in real life, I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow. So let's get ready together. I have been doing this one look over and over again. I'm gonna use this Dermatology eye corrector as my base. This is an SPF concealer, sort of. I mean, they call it a corrector, but it works as a concealer. And I'm obsessed with it because it has SPF 41, and I've always wanted an eye product with SPF because I feel like I can't put SPF on my eyes. It ruins my makeup. And also it causes those little like white pore blocking things like milia. It causes milia to do uh, things that are really rich over the eyes. So this has been like next level for me. You can use it on your lids and of course underneath. Also, I created this palette with a bunch of Viseart palettes that I had. So, it's a mega, mega palette, but I've been using these two shades and I'll link the palette that they're in. I can link all of them as well, but I use mostly these and these are all from one same palette, if that makes sense. You can use the crappiest brushes because it's not eyeshadow heavy. I take this pinky color and I put it like all over the eye and it seems like it wouldn't even be a color, but it is. I'm just very white right now. I don't have a spray tan on. I mean, I have a remnant of the old tan, but nothing on my face. I'm just like pale as a ghost. But this makeup looks so easy. I've been doing it all the time because it's not shadow heavy. I don't really love like heavy shadows in the crease and stuff. I do it because like makeup, it's fun to change it up, but like I don't really, live my life like that. So then we'll do this color next to it. Again, very light shade, but for some reason it just works to add a little definition out here. Some over here as well, kind of like carving out a crease a little bit. And this brush, I mean, this is not the proper brush for this, but because the shades are so light, it doesn't really matter. And then I bring definition into the lash line with a smaller brush in this brown color, just like a little dab. And then you just hit the lash line with this. And we're gonna blend some liquid liner into this. And then you just take this liquid liner and you just run it in the lash line and then take your same shadow brush and blend it. You can blend liquid liners, especially some of them. This one is Amazon's Color Key. This just arrived at my door one day. I didn't order it. I don't know how they got my contact, if it's like a PR thing, but it just literally arrived. Um, I really like it though. And you can also, if you're not good at a wing, you can flick it and then hurry and blend that. And it's like the easiest smoky wing you've ever done. In fact, if you're bad at eyeliner, I encourage you to try that. But yeah, that looks good to me. I'll just kind of blend it a little bit more. And you can go back, back into that brown too to soften it. I love like a smoky liner. So again, Hit the lash line, blend, and then go in with your wing. Oh, it looks like I already kind of did it, so I'll just go in with the wing now. This one is a little haywire, but we'll just take a little Q-tip and just... Bioderma, if you don't have this, what are you waiting for? It's the best micellar water. The Garnier is okay, but it just isn't as gentle and it doesn't work as well. Like this will take off all your makeup. The Garnier is kind of like, maybe it will, maybe it won't. It's kind of like, doesn't always work. My favorite mascara is the Benefit Fan Fest. And then there's that primer that I like to use with it, but I can't find it. So we'll just do the Fan Fest on its own. 
and let's really put it to the test because I usually only use it with the primer. Imagine it like completely falls flat. Also, I got a lash lift. Well, I filmed it. You might have seen it. I got my lash lifts and um, I love it. I can't believe I haven't been doing this this whole time. I will say my eyelashes are pretty dry though and I added a tint a few days later and my eyes did not like that tint. But the lift, oh my God. This will be like my new trick because you know, if I'm ever seeing somebody and we're having like sleepovers and stuff, I will always have cluster lashes on or those three day lashes, like those TikTok popular ones. I will always be wearing something because I just am one of those people that I'm never ever barefaced unless I'm alone, like completely alone. Like even if I'm going to see my sister, I'll put makeup on. Um, I don't know why I'm like that. I've always been like that. I love makeup. I want to be seen in makeup. So this is gonna be my new trick, right? For not being like barefaced is the lash lift and tint. Also, this works way better with the primer. Wow, that's eye opening. We're gonna do a couple clusters anyway, but what the heck? This is my favorite. Maybe it's also dry. I mean, I've been using this for a good three months. Um, let's just do an old fave of Pure Lease because I'm actually going into the world. I want sun protection. Oh, I should put on SPF. Oh, let's put on SPF too. There's a few SPFs I like. This is by The Treatment and this is sent to me. This girl, Bridget, she works for them and I know her like through social media. She's super cute and she sent this to me. Um, but I had never heard of it before. I would never seen it. It's become one of my favorite sunscreens because it's really non-greasy. But I just don't even know like if it can be purchased in store because the treatment, it's like a, a little skincare boutique -y, like facial kind of mezba or something. So I'm like, where do I buy more? Because it's really nice and you guys are always asking too how I have like a dewy skin. I almost always am oily, but also I always have SPF. And SPF not only protects your skin, but adds a lot of glow. So I would recommend doing that. And then we'll go in on top with our Pure Lease. And I don't have that, um, I don't have the breakout problems that I used to with SPF, I think one, SPFs have gotten better over the last few years. And two, I'm properly removing it. If you feel like SPF always breaks you out, I would encourage and beg you to try removing it with a double cleanser at the end of the day and see how that fares for you. Because the benefits far outweigh like a couple clogged pores, just like the sun protection benefits. Let's mix these. I know you're not supposed to mix it, but I should take it down. And yeah, I mean, leaving SPF on the skin will, will cause breakouts and stuff overnight. So just make sure you're really thorough in removing it. We're using all the crazy sponges today. We're gonna use this sponge for the under eye and see if this makeup bullet is worth having. For $14, I was Googling because everybody loved that eyeliner tool, me included. The, the one that is like made by that makeup artist who has Parkinson's and Selma Blair who has MS as the face of the brand. So I started searching for more like ergonomic makeup tools because I was wondering like, are there other tools out there like this one? Like this is crazy, I've never seen it until recently. And this makeup bullet came up, but I'm just not so convinced <laughs> that this will make my life so much easier. Also, I misplaced my thing, but I have a replacement because I'm almost out. Like, I literally just used it and lost it in that amount of time. Um, probably this is way too much, but you just blend it down. I'm using the shade Fair. I like how brightening and like peachy it is because these are correctors, so they're meant to be bright as opposed to like, um, like skin tone color. So let's try out our makeup bullet. Wait, this is actually working really well. I mean, it fits perfectly in the inner corner of the eye. And I can pretty much never get into that inner corner unless I'm using a brush. And brushes don't blend as well as sponges do. 
This is so ridiculous, but it's working so well. Oh my God. It says it's created uh, by an Emmy winning makeup artist as well. Uh, this chick, <laughs> she put herself on there, Eva Jane, Emmy winning makeup artist and creator of the makeup bullet, slay queen. Um, hypoallergenic, latex-free, washable, reusable is $14 or three for 21. Actually, maybe 28, I don't know. I was being cheap because I just, I've never seen this and I just didn't know if I'd like it, but I do like it. And now I wish that I did the cheaper option of just having multiple, but oh well. It's like you could apply your face with a brush and then use this to do the under eye. Cause the under eye is like kind of like the one area that I feel like my brushes don't really blend properly, but this is a good blend. And I'm like able to get into these inner corners. Let's put the white in the inner corner and see how easily I can blend it with this. There has to be a way to get this cheaper. I'm surprised nobody's duped it. Like literally I looked for dupes uh, couldn't find, couldn't find any dupes. Get my mirror again. Oh, I was going to tell you guys something embarrassing. So remember how I told you I had that falling out with my previous Valentine? Well, two weeks later on Sunday or over the weekend or something, I realized that he has my West Hollywood parking pass. And if you've ever lived in LA, you know that you need those parking passes. Well, you get a parking pass for the residents of the building, and then you get two guest passes only, and then nobody can park on the street. Like if you're having visitors, they have to have a pass or else they'll get a ticket. And if somebody's getting a ticket on at my apartment, then guess who's probably gonna have to pay for the ticket? Me, because it's my fault for not giving them a parking pass. So I realized, and I had a absolute freak out because I asked for it back. I was like, do you have my parking pass? Um, can I have that back? I really need it. No response, no response. So then the next day, I'm like, oh my God, I'm like in the trenches, worried about my parking pass. Let's put this on the lower lash line. I'm like crying. I cried about it because it was on my period because really like my ex had my last parking pass for half of the year and it was really annoying because I'd have people over and wouldn't be able to park them essentially. And then if I start dating someone, which I'm dating hard this year, then they can't park in my house because this bum that I knew for one month has my parking pass. So I start like spiraling. And literally I'm being completely unreasonable. I'm panicking because I'm thinking he's ghosted me forever. I'm never gonna get this parking pass back because I was mean to this guy. Uh, but really he was meaner to me if you think about it because I was never anything but nice to him. I had presents for him for Valentine's Day because I get all these dossier sent. You guys know I work with dossier a lot. So they're constantly sending. I can ask for whatever I want. Also, I'll have to do a giveaway. I just asked for a couple more cents that I already have so I can give them back to you guys. I'll plan that and I'll put the rules soon in a short or on a community page. Just watch out for that. So I, he says he loves the Labo. So I like got a bunch of the Labo ones, ended up giving them to my sister's boyfriend. I was so nice to this guy actually, but then when he dogged me, I was mean, right? I was mean as hell. I was like, can't believe you, you're such a bum, you know, like that kind of vibe. So he's ghosted me. He's not gonna give me my pass is what I'm worried about. So I literally, like I blow him up. I say, and this is really bad. They're like, don't, don't do as I do. I text one at a time. I need that back. City of WeHo won't issue another. Mail it to me, question mark. Wait all day, no response. Um, and then I'm on the phone with my sister and I'm like crying about my parking pass because you guys, it's really a big deal. It's really a big deal if nobody can park on my street for the rest of the year. My sister has one pass so that she can roll up and then that was my only other pass for guests. Like I can't even have two people here at once if I wanted to because I don't have enough passes. So she's like, let me call him on my number. So literally she three-way calls him. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm exposing myself in this. Uh, wait, but like it wasn't a big deal because also like he's ghosted me at this point Like what have I got to lose a man has ghosted me? So she calls him on his number. He answers 
<laughs> and he doesn't say hello or anything because he can probably tell that it's a Wisconsin. We both have Wisconsin phone numbers, so it's like a dead giveaway. But it's not my number, right? And then I'm like, fuck this shit. I hang up the phone with her and I call myself. Uh, sends me to voicemail. So I leave a voicemail and I'm like, listen, I just need to know if you still have the pass because all kinds of thoughts were running through my head. I was like, he probably got rid of it. He hates me, like blah, blah, blah. I was mean to him. He probably chucked my pass out the window and is never looking back. So I'm like, just tell me if you have the pass and just tell me if you can mail it to me because really like I just got that parking pass. I really need it. And then he texts me like an hour later and he says, please stop blowing me up. I'm out of town and I'll give it to you when I'm back. And I'm like, okay, Slay, um, I wouldn't have blown you up if you would have just answered that simple text, but okay. Thank you so much. Like literally I said, thank you so much. I'm so embarrassing, but like I need my pass and I was willing to like show up to his house for that pass. And I was also kind of in a, um, in a hurry too to get the answer because I was going by, I never go that area that he lives in because it's not safe for women to go over there anyway. I don't like that area. So I was going there because I had to go to Home Depot and I was like two birds, one stone. I could just like get this pass if he would acknowledge me breathing and being alive, but he didn't, but I got my pass. Well, I didn't get my pass, but I got confirmation that I'll get my pass. And yes, I will continue to harass him if he doesn't want to give it to me. So let's go ahead. I'll sign him up for political texts if he doesn't give me this pass back. And before you think, well, he might sign you up for some, I'm already signed up. So I have nothing to lose. I've already lost this hourglass powder I'm really loving. Let's apply it with the other side of the makeup bullet. It says like powder, creams, whatever, but the only thing is that I don't like uh, using the same sponge for setting and for applying makeup because they get mixed together if you don't wash it out every single time. And then it ruins your makeup because if you use like a sponge with powder that's like encrusted in it to blend it, it just it's just a mess so oh I like how you can like get into the nose with this I, I like this let's get a little bit more I almost find this powder to be more brightening than the Givenchy but the Givenchy tones that they have, they have more like pinks and stuff, whereas this seems a lot more yellow, yellowy yellow to me. And I don't really set my whole face because it becomes very, um, unless I'm like going out, like gonna be out for a few hours, like at night. As soon as you like lock that full face in, it kind of becomes like, a thing that you then have to patch up later. Whereas if I just leave it, I might get a little oily and I can blot. But once you start powdering like the whole face, then at that point you need to have a powder on you. Go to brows has been this Revlon. I just discovered that in this cap is a brow brush. And my brows are dropping because my Botox is worn off. Cause I was like, wait, why are my eyebrow, like my eyes are like coming down. Literally my Botox is wearing off. So I gotta shoot a little higher to lift up the brow. I almost always start on the top when filling in an eyebrow, just because that's where most people like need a little lift. And you don't wanna take up eyelid space filling this up with eyebrow. It's just like better to keep everything up high. If I ever come into some money, you guys will see me like, like this. There will be signs. I love that meme that's like, if I win the lottery, there will be signs. Me, there will be signs. I always like to joke about all the plastic surgery that I would get. I don't want like a puffy filler face, but would I get Full body, body work done, yes.
Would I get facial plastic surgery done? Yes. Would I lipo everything? Yes. The only thing that I'm like really suspicious of in that world is BBLs. They are killing people and I don't want to die. Let's do a couple of these slash clusters. I'm gonna start with the 14s and just do as few as possible, honestly. These are the Breeze Cluster Lashes. So let's do two 14s and one 12 and see if that's enough. The, uh, the Lash Lift is helping me use a lot less lashes actually because now the ones that I have are more visible. Yeah, so that's enough. So now we pinch and this will help them not be sticking straight up. These are still a little wet. Then I want to do a brown lip liner because I got this pink lipstick that I'm trying to make work. This is Dibs Lip Definer in the shade Light. And it's like, it's straight brown. Okay, so this I bought on Amazon and it's called Make It Pink. And the color online reminded me of one of my favorite lipsticks that's discontinued but in real life it looks nothing like that lipstick I imagined it would look like, so we'll just see. This is a lot more pink. I mean, it's called Make It Pink. This is a lot more pink than I thought it would be. In some of the pictures it looked really nude. You know what would be so good with this though? At For this, this would be a gray pink blush. So why not try it? It's kind of risky. I'm gonna put some on my wrist to blend it with the sponge and see. If I don't end up using this as a lipstick, I'll definitely use it as a blush. Yeah, that's pretty. Am I happy? I think I'm happy with that. Mmm. I got paint in my hair. I was painting my wall. And let's just add a little definition to the lower lash line. I forgot to do that with shadow. Usually I'll always take my brown shadow and pop it under here. If I'm not going to do the waterline, I'll do the lash line to make the eye look bigger. Some mom on Facebook, literally her photo was her and her kid, said that, um, said that I'm giving myself beady eyes by putting eyeliner on the lower lash line. And I was just thinking, how do you have the time to be here and fight with me? Also, let's put on the Patrick Top body and then we'll be done. I didn't want to buy it because $50 to me for a body product is crazy, but it really does look very good. And I like applying it with this. I just realized I probably have this all over my face because I forgot that I used my body sponge yesterday for this, didn't wash it, and then did my makeup. Oh God, I'm gonna be a grease ball. But um, this is really nice in my opinion. I got this shade, she's on vacation because I always want to be a little bronzy and it's not too much like whatever amount of color is in it is very sheer and what's interesting about this is instead of looking like oily sometimes you just look like wet when you use this so I'm loving it and this is our Glam, thanks for getting ready with me. This is definitely un falling under the makeup I actually wear. This is kind of like my go-to level of makeup, my go-to amount of makeup that I love to wear. Let me know what you think about this glam and my embarrassing story time in the comments down below. And then I'll do a giveaway for the dossier for next month. So how about this? You guys tell me, oh, it might have to be next, next month because I already put in an order. 
You guys tell me which fragrances you're interested in the comments down below and I'll pick a few, order them, and then gift them to you. So next month I'll give away three. So pick one per person and I'll get those three and send them back out to you so that we can all be stock loaded with dossier. Thank you guys for getting ready with me and I'll see you for the next one.